Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel. Well, now this video about uh, how to update the drivers on your Windows 11 PC or laptop. So I am actually using the PC version. So even if you are using the laptop also, so how to update all the drivers to the updated version. So the drivers are very important thing on the PC or laptop. So for any components you are using, so the driver should be updated. In case if your driver is outdated means then that particular component will not work that much good or you will face any issues like that so for all the components like keyboard mouse speaker monitor uh, graphics card uh, or processor so for all these things the driver should be updated so in this video I'll uh, share you how to get the updated driver version instantly without any issue you can easily able to update all the drive for all the components you are using in your PC so the first thing is that the default uh, method to uh, update the driver is that by just going through the device manager so under the device manager you can able to so install update the driver but by going through the device manager or uh, updating the windows update also so the driver will not get updated so because using the windows update or uh, using the device manager so the driver update will actually comes by late only so that process is actually a slow process so using the windows uh, update or the device manager update so for update updating the driver we have to use a third party software so we are going to use the software which is called driver ec so this is the software driver ec so using this software you can update your drivers in a free version also and also in the paid version also so there is a lot more difference between the free version and the paid version but in the free version also we, you can able to update all the drivers you need for your pc and to download and install this uh, driver ec so you have to just go to the driverec.com so i have given the link in the description just to go to that website and click on this free trial option you will get a exe file just to save that exe file and install it and it very easy only and after that once you open the driver ec software now this is the software so the first thing is that now here is all the menu section scan update hardware info tools like that so first thing is that you have to click on the scan now option so it will actually scan for the needed driver drivers for your pc or uh, laptop so now i am currently having a 12 drivers need to be updated so i have a 12 outdated drivers in my pc and apart from the 12 so i have a 130 drivers got up to dated in my pc so in the windows 11 pc so the next in the update section only you can able to find all these things so now what is the difference between the free version and the paid version so in the paid version you can able to install all the drivers at a time and also you can download and install all drivers in a single click so for example here is the option update all if you're actually paid means you get the driver you see pro version means once you click on the update all so driver ec itself uh, download and install all the drivers for your pc you no need to do anything just you want to click on the update all and in case if you are using a free version means so you have to download the every driver manually and you have to install the driver manually and also you from your side only you have to create the system restore point so that is a very important thing before you are installing any driver you have to create a system restore point so that is also very important so i, I am currently using the free version only so i'll show you how to update the driver by manual method itself so this uh, driver ec software is one of the best software to update drivers on your windows 11 pc or laptop because on the free version itself there is a no ads or bloatware like that and the one more thing is that you can get the latest driver update instantly on this driver ec so for example so in the device manager so currently i am actually going to the display adapter i am using the nvidia geforce rtx 3060 and just to click on the update driver now i am click on the search automatically so in the default device manager it actually says that the best drivers are for your device are already installed so okay now i am just going to the properties section and under the driver details so currently i am having a driver version of 31.0.15 uh, something and now in the driver easy so that is an update for the same graphics card so here it is for the nvidia geforce rtx 3060 there is a update available so the current driver installed is 31 the same one but there is a available driver from the manufacturer side from the nvidia side which is 31.0.15.2647 and the date as you seen here this current driver date is september 8 and the available driver date is 
October 25. So this is the latest driver, but Windows is already saying that you will get the latest driver. So this is the difference between the uh, normally you are getting updated the driver using the device manager or in the Windows update and you are actually updating through this driver EC software. Okay, now I'll show you how to update the driver for this Realtek audio. So on the for this sound video and game controller. So in the Realtek audio currently the driver version is 6.0.9331 and if you actually click on the update driver and search automatically for the driver windows is actually saying that the best drivers for your device are already installed so but in the driver ec software so there is a real tech high definition audio so driver update is available so if you click on that so the current driver version is 6.09331 this is the current driver but there is a driver update available on this driver ec software so which is 6.09403 so i am now just going to download this driver just to click on the update option now you want to create a system restore point in case if you are uh, having a paid version means you can click on the automatically create if you are actually using a free version means you have to manually create a system restore point for that just go to the search option and uh, search for the create uh, restore point and after that you will get this uh, system properties here is the option create restore point just to click on the create option here just uh, put the current date for the better tracking and click on the create option and finally the system restore point has been created so once you've done that you have to click on the continue option now that uh, Realtek high definition audio driver has been downloading so the download speed has been limited on the driver EC for the free version so currently I am using the free version so I am actually getting only 50 KB per second but I am actually using a broadband with a MB per second speed internet speed the speed limit is actually limited on the driver EC free version so in case if you want a full downloading speed means so you have to go for the pro version so the pro version is actually cost for uh, $30 per year so for three pieces for single PC also $30 only and using the pro version you can automatically detect all the missing and outdated drivers and one click of update all drivers all drivers are certified and uh, you can use that uh, you can use on the offline scan also and high speed download so you can able to get all this using the $30 per year pro version of driver EC now after download the particular driver so now it actually asks for the automatic install and manual install for automatic install you need a pro version so i just select on the manual install and after that just click on the continue option so now you can able to see the source file of the downloaded driver so in this source folder now you can able to find a dot inf uh, setup information file so just right click that and there you can able to find the option install just to click on that click on the s option so now your driver will be automatically updated so now once you installed so you have to restart your pc and also in the driver you see again scan for the drivers now we are actually having only 11 outdated driver update is having so that means we are recently updated the realtek audio well now in this device manager just right click and click on the scan for hardware changes and after that just to go to the real tech audio now as you've seen here now for this driver the driver version has been updated and the driver date is that a recent date only so like this you can manually install the driver update so using this method also so like this you can easily able to update the driver to the latest version for all the components you are using in your pc or laptop and also you can able to find all the updated drivers in the driver ec so in the updated driver section so for example here is the up to date drivers so which is 131 so we are recently updated the real tech uh, audio driver so here is a recently updated driver real tech audio so like you can also find here and in case if you are having some of the trouble means you can roll back to the previous version of the driver also just to find the driver you are recently updated and after that in the drop down menu you can able to find the option roll back to previous driver just to click on that so by this method in case if you are actually facing any trouble on that particular driver version means you can roll back to the previous driver version also so now this driver EC is one of the best software and it's a free version software itself you can easily able to download and install so all the drivers to the latest version so that you can easily able to use all the components without any issues on your pc or laptop 
well now that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you guys find this video helpful to you means let me know in the comment section below and if you are new to this channel means please subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys